All right, Barry, so we're here in the Ford Fact Lab. Uh, this class is an elective that's part of the greater automotive program. Is that accurate? That's true. Yeah. And so how long is this program? This program is 15 weeks. Okay, so 15 weeks, and then once they're done, the 15 weeks here, they will be ready for a entry-level tech position at yes. a Ford dealership? Entry-level. Uh, they do leave with their certifications, but uh, we usually like to see them in an entry level because they still need the experience out there at the dealership. Got it. So what what is the, so prior to this, they've done what classes? Uh, prior to Ford you're talking about? Yeah, prior to this, prior to entering this fact class, what, what are the pre-classes that they've done? Um, all the pre-classes would be your basic electrical, advanced electrical, drivability, uh, air conditioning. So they, so prior to coming here, they understand the general systems of an automobile. Correct. Then they come to the FACT program and learn specifically Ford process, Ford controls, uh, Ford diagnostics, all right. of that. Using the factory tools and factory cars, yeah. Got it, okay, so uh, walk me around a bit and show me kind of what, what you've got to demonstrate this to allow them to, to learn. So these guys have done some research in the classroom on web stuff. Now we've created a problem in this vehicle, an electrical problem, so they're in electrical class. Okay. So now they're coming out and researching what the problem is before they actually attack it. Got it. So they're doing research, have a good idea, narrowing it down. How the system works, yeah. And this is basically part of the troubleshooting process for this system. So whether it's body control module, PCM, mm -hmm. whatever it may be, they're going through the Ford suggested right. steps, which we're would be the most efficient step to not just throw parts at it, spend customers money and just mm -hmm. get it done as quick as possible. We're uh, fix it right the first time. So we need to know how the system works before we can see how it doesn't work. Got it. Very cool. Um, and then so in here, they're not, you know, is there motor, transmission, like what other types of things besides the electrical system would they be learning here? So besides electrical, we teach uh, brakes, suspension, steering, uh, motors, um, hybrids. Well, can we walk over and check out yeah. the motors? Cool, got it. Okay, so I see, so this is kind of motor lab. This is motor lab. Oh, we got a coyote apart? We have a coyote. I mean, that never happens in reality, <laughs> but I just, I love the coyote. It's such a good motor. Yeah. So this is an EcoBoost. So this is a 2.7 two seven two seven Eco EcoBoost, mm -hmm. okay. So what we've done is, is um, Ford has set up these labs. Each one of these motors has a problem built into it that the students must uh, tear down and find. So through measurements and through logical um, So do they know, do you say, hey, this thing's making a sound in the front yeah, of the motor? Yeah, it's making a sound. Um, through some diagnostic tests, we've kind of isolated it so they know what parts to take off and what they don't need to take off. Got it, and then, okay. To streamline. So then they, they do that. You obviously know the answer mm -hmm. and they have to troubleshoot it. You and. If they do, they get a gold star. If not, they're doing push-ups, basically. Yep. <laughs> got it. And then, so moving over here, we've got a Coyote, five liter. Uh, I see the front timing, uh, the front cover's off. Um, so very similar thing, right? You would tell them a challenge, mm -hmm. what's wrong, and then they go through the process. Yeah, they've gone through a virtual class inside on the uh, internet, listening to noises, listening to uh, different things going on with the motor and then through logical step-by-step -step process elimination, we've now come down to the point where we're tearing down. Okay, very cool. And so obviously a lot of different motors, right? Different motors, the 2.3. Yep, 2.3, so EcoBoost. Uh, diesel that goes in the F-150. Okay, so they're learning gas, diesel, all the infrastructure, all the modern motors. All the modern motors. Got it. So this is for you know my people, the Ford techs, the future, we need more of them. Um, and uh, Ford is actually doing some amazing stuff for their people. I know a lot of dealers um, personally, and and you know their techs and their service center is their core business, and they can't yeah. get enough good people. They can't get enough people. Yeah, so I imagine this is a busy, busy one that uh, people are signing up left and right to UTI. Mm -hmm. I have to look. I have to see this. So this is a compound turbo system. Yes. So that is our earlier diesel, 6.4 liter. We call that a series sequential. You may notice a compound. Yeah, series sequential, right. And now cool. what Ford has done on their engine, the new one, 6.7, they've kind of combined this. So we call this a dual boost. 
Oh, these guys are working on a 6-7. I like yep. the teamwork, by the way. What's going on, guys? How's it going? Y'all having fun? What are y'all diagnosing over here? Uh, no diagnosis right now. We're just kind of component identification. Uh, identification and where it's located on the engine. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So where's the high pressure pump? Pop I quiz. But where are my glow plugs at? The glow plugs are going to be deep. Mm -hmm. They're on your valve covers and they're integrated with your fuel injectors. Well, they're not integrated, but they're with your fuel injectors. Yeah. Look at that beautiful. Um, easy one. Where's the turbo? Jeez. <laughs> Boom. Uh, all right, flux capacitor. Where's that one? Huh. That's back on the in the DeLorean. Ah, there we go. He <laughs> knows what's up. <laughs> well, have fun, guys. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm pumped to be able to check this out. I've been like super impressed with UTI's process, the cleanliness of the facility, and just the vibe. Like, it seems like everybody is excited to be here. Um, and, you know, I, I went to college for a year and a half. I left college and went to a tech school because I was not excited to be at college and being forced to do things that I wasn't interested in doing. So you like, seems like you all are doing exactly what you want. And uh, that is the absolute uh, key to life in my experience. Like if you are doing something you're passionate about, you're excited and you know the old adage, right? If you love what you're doing, you're not working a day. So, so uh, stay on that path and keep that mindset. Cool. Sweet boys, thank you. Oh, they're like, you guys are getting into all of it. And that's yeah. awesome. We do measuring, removing, measuring, measuring bore, trying to determine <laughs> is this still a good block? Uh, is there any damage to it? Yeah, how much motor work would you actually do at a Ford dealership? Like would they, if the motor is, it's not just like, hey, change the short block. Right. You would, if it's a piston and a rod, like they that's would do that? That's all you're changing. As long as we've, uh, through our measurements, proved that the block is still good, they yep. want us to reuse that, replace only what's Got the it. Block. Now, if everything's catastrophic failure, of course, we're going to put a short block long block. Right. Could you imagine, like, the thought process that goes into, like, okay, we have an engine. How are we going to service this? Right? It's like you build it, but then it's like, what are we going to do? What's the process? Do you throw parts at it? Do you do this? Like, that's... That's a whole nother yeah. crazy thing to figure out. It's not just building cars. Like they, they have to design mm -hmm. and figure out the process to service them too. That's, that's pretty crazy. Them, we have to almost be engineers. We have to locate the problem and yeah. try to solve it from happening again. Yeah. When we put this engine back together. Yeah, very cool. How long have you been doing this? I've uh, been teaching here for 12 years now. I've been with Ford for about 30. What were you doing? Uh... I was out in the dealership. Okay. I was doing diesels, I was doing uh, drivability, what we call um, check engine lights, smog, and then I worked my way up to service manager. Okay, and so then I you just said, I want to teach this now. Yeah. Cool. Because I found that I actually really enjoyed going back and, and teaching the guys coming up. Yeah. So I bet you that's very fulfilling. Like yeah, you have these students fulfilling. and a couple of years from now you run into them somewhere and they're like, hey, I'm service manager, you know. Yeah. There's probably a lot of pride and, and passion oh, yeah. in and that. And I run into them out in the field and, and they're like, I remember you, you were my instructor. And yeah. I'm like, that's what I really I like. I bet that is, feels good. Is I, yeah. I touch you know, thousands of people's lives and, and I'll see them later on. Yeah, and, and like you're, you're like a direct result of supporting their family and their future just from yeah. sharing your knowledge. Yeah, UTI that's says we, we change one life at a time. No, yeah. we change families. Yeah. Families' lives. That's amazing. Love it.